now in the when we cover the logical system we cover we have a dedicated transaction code to create the logical system so what is that transaction code bd54 if i will show you bd54 slash n bd54 i will go to okay and you can see here sap per basis person created the logical system if you see this is the logical this is the logical system for client 100 and this is the logical system for the client 200 always always this is basis person activity even i will not show you i will not delete this and show you because this full activity is done by the basis person itself now rather than going to bd54 you can go to sale transaction code also why why we are saying you can go for sale transaction code because if you will remember sale transaction code second step also also you can perform through same transaction code suppose if i will go to sale transaction code see if i will go to sale transaction code i am in 100 client you can clearly see i am in 100 client as of now this is our send this is our send now we have 200 client also this is our 200 client and this is the receiver this is the receiver now i will go to 100 client and i will show you sale if i will go to sale transaction code now i will simply simply expand basic settings and you can see what is the first step you can simply expand logical system so what is the first step whenever you want to send the data from one client of sap to another client of sap you need to define the logical system if i will click on to this button it will navigate me to bd54 only you can see if i will simply close this because it is already opened now if i will click here it is navigating me to bd54 only this is the particular thing but i will suggest you can remember sale transaction code because the second step also we can perform through the same to same transaction code but ultimately it is totally your wish but this full activity creation of the logical system is done by the basis person and whenever basis person will create the logical system always always the person will follow the naming convention system id client clnt is the keyword and after that the person will provide the client number now we will move on to the next step now next step also also a complete basis person activity now now you defined the logical system you defined the logical system but now you need to tell this logical system is for client 100 this logical system is for client 200 as of now what we did we gave a unique identification but how system will understand that this logical system is for client 100 this logical system is for client 200 now the system needs to understand this so what is our second activity we need to assign the logical system to the sap client it's a request 
never never think that client is the one who is a physical person whom you are providing the services no here client means i'm talking about the client number of sap system itself now what is second step assign logical system to the client now with the help of same to same transaction code we can assign the logical system to the client if i will show you s a l e now i will click here assign logical system to the client this is again completely a basis person activity and it's a humble request never never change any configurations in the sap system for these steps you need to connect with the basis person basis person will always always do all these things if i will go to okay now you can see we have 100 client we have 200 client if i will show you 100 client you can simply see for the 100 client what is the logical system a for h c l n t 100 it means for this logical system this is the client number of sap system now if i will show you 200 client for this 200 client what is the logical system a for h c l n t 200 never never change these kinds of thing connect with the basis person to perform these two steps firstly the basis person will create a logical system using s l a s a l e transaction code then the basis person will assign the sap client number to the logical system so what is the summary up to this level in this video we started with a new topic as a part of cross application and our new topic is how we can send the data from one client of sap system to another client of sap system using ale why i am using the word ale because first thing we are sending from one sap system to another sap system secondly we will not change the format of the data format of data will remain as it is and you all know ale format of data never changing it is always always from sap to sap it is always always with in the business and we took the requirement that we will send the materials from one client of sap to another client of sap now as a part of that we always always has a set of static steps data can be anything it can be material it can be sales order anything now we took the requirement of materials so what is the first step we are doing as a part of that first step is we need to create logical system logical system is what unique id unique id of the client within the sap system now for 100 client and 200 client what is the unique id of 100 client we are giving we always have a naming convention system id clnt and client number our system id is a4h clnt is the keyword and 100 this is our sender and what is the logical system id for the receiver a4h clnt 200 now basis person will do this activity we can go to bd54 transaction code and we can go for sale transaction code also sale is easy 
because first two steps we can do with same to same transaction code. Now, but is second step, we defined the logical system, but how system understand that this is the unique identification for 100 client. This is the unique identification for 200 client. It means we need to assign the client to the logical system and same to same transaction code S A L E. And it's a humble request. If you are practicing, just listen these two steps or connect with your basis person to do these two steps. Never, never do these kinds of configuration by your own because sending data from one client of SAP to another client of SAP, the major task is done by the basis person. Yes, technical person also has to do lots of stuff, but a technical person standalone cannot do anything. A basis person standalone cannot achieve everything. It's a combined activity. You can check on Google anywhere whenever you want to send that data from one client of SAP to another client of SAP, it's a combined activity of basis and technical person. In the next video, we will go for next steps, how to send that data from one client of SAP to another client of SAP. So that's it in this video. Thank you.